Hey y'all, it's your girl Polly CEO, aka Vegan Chef CEO. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we will be cooking some truffle mashed potatoes, vegan steak, asparagus, and some vegan rolls. I wanted to come to you guys today to give you the full recipe here live. Well, kind of not live, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna show you everything that I'm using. We're gonna talk about where I get it from, and we're also going to be cooking this meal, okay? So before we get on in, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Also, head on over to my vlog channel if you're interested in seeing my daily vlogs, lifestyle, clothing hauls, and that type of thing. You know, <laughs> the girly type of things and that girl type of thing. Go ahead and head over to my vlog channel and make sure to subscribe there. But let's go ahead and hop on in this video because I'm hungry. <laughs> so first things first, we're gonna get our cutting board so we can cut up these potatoes. The potatoes I'll be using today are gonna be these honey gold bite-sized potatoes. I actually got these from Walmart. So first we're going to peel them and then chop them. The next thing I'm gonna do is get a pot so we can put some water in it and boil the potatoes. So I think I'm gonna use a big pot. We're gonna add some salt to the water. Of course, y'all know I have my pink Himalayan salt. We're gonna grab our potatoes and drop them down in there. And we're gonna turn those on a medium high and let those cook down. Okay, so while the potatoes are boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and make the butter sauce that's gonna be for the steak. Right here I have some country crop plant butter. This is the avocado kind. This is my favorite kind, baby. If you're subscribed over on the blog channel, <laughs> then you already know. So anyway, I have let this butter stick sit on the counter for a couple of minutes just to kind of let it thaw out just a little bit. So I'm actually gonna use the whole stick. I gotta get a spoon. I gotta get a spoon for my garlic. I have some minced garlic right here. You can use fresh garlic if you like, but the spoon is the only thing that fits into it. So I got me a little spoon, and I'm gonna put, I think two spoonfuls, okay? I love me some garlic and onion, okay? Period. <laughs> and then next, I'm gonna get my basil and oregano seasoning and add it to this. If you have fresh parsley, that's always good too, but only, I only got a little bit of fresh parsley, so. You know, we gotta do what we gotta do. So here I have my basil and my oregano, and I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that on the butter. And so we gotta eat a bowl here, and we're just gonna mix it all together with this fork, just to make like a good garlic butter sauce. And it might be better to do with the spoon, okay? My butter's not soft enough for that fork. But if your butter get real soft, you can definitely use the fork. But I think I'm gonna use the spoon. I think it's a little bit easier with the spoon. And this is what my garlic butter sauce is looking like all mixed up together. So we're gonna set our butter to the side and go ahead and chop up some shallots for our steak and for the mashed potatoes. So I have this two pack of shallot. I got these from Publix, just a little two pack right here. And I'm actually gonna use both of these because like I said, I'm gonna use some for our steak. Then I'm also going to be using some for the truffle mash. As y'all know, I like any kind of onion. Like I said, if you're subscribed to my vlog channel, then you're right now. I'm 
All right, so I'm gonna take a fork and check on the potatoes to see if they done. They pretty tender, but I'ma go ahead and start preparing the steak because these get ready so freaking fast, okay? So this is gonna be our steak today, which is the lion's mane mushroom. If you have watched any of my previous steak videos. <laughs> hey girl, hey, hey, my boy, <laughs> hey. Then you already know this is what I use. So I did forget to tell y'all something. I'm doing lobster tails too because my baby like lobster tails and yes, I am vegan, but I will tear down a lobster tail from time to time, so. Here we are, today's one of those times. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the steak and the lobster tail. So I already have, like I said, my onions here. I'm gonna slide these to the side. For these steaks, you will need a large saucepan and a small one. Let me show you the time. All right, so this is what I mean. You got your large one and then you got your small one, okay? So we're gonna use this one to cook and this one to mash. <laughs> you already know what I'm talking about. If you, you already know. We're gonna put our large pan on the stove, turn the fire on, we're gonna do it like medium high, okay? Get you some great seed oil, let me get mine. Now, I haven't fit, refilled my great seed oil, it's normally up in this right here, but I gotta refill it, okay? So, this is great seed oil, and I'm just gonna pour a little bit of that in the skillet. We're gonna let that heat up, okay, let that get hot. I'm gonna cut this part off of the lines, man, okay? We're gonna throw that little part away. We're gonna put our lines main down in there. And now, we're gonna take our little pot and smash it down. These mushrooms have a lot of water, so we gotta smash all that water out of there. All right, once it's smushed a little bit on one side, then go ahead and flip them over. Then we're gonna smash this side down. And you see, that's what it's looking like right there. Mm-hmm. Gotta keep smashing it. And let the water cook out of there. And be careful because they will fall apart. Can't you see it falling apart? Which is no problem. We're not making a sandwich, baby. We're just doing some steak pieces. So that's great. And we're gonna smash it down again. And let all that water cook down. And we're gonna go ahead and season it. So I'm gonna use some garlic powder. Some onion powder, some paprika, a little bit of chili powder. We're gonna squeeze half a lemon on there. Mm -hmm. Also gonna do some Worcestershire sauce. You can get this in vegan. Then we're gonna smash it down again. We're gonna check to see if the potatoes are done and they are soft, so we're gonna go ahead and strain these off the water and sit them to the side. Now flip them over and season them and then we're gonna flush it down. Sometimes you gotta wear your oven mitt because it gets real hot up in here right we're doing this. This top pan gets a little hot, so. And if it's thick, just get it off of there. Once it get real dry looking, we're gonna go ahead and add some of that garlic butter that we made earlier and some shallots. We'll make sure to fork that everywhere. Get it all over each steak piece. So in a pot, now we're gonna take our truffle oil. This is the kind that I have right here. We're gonna pour some in a pot. And then we're gonna also throw in those shallots and garlic. Once it becomes fragrant and you can kind of smell it and it's cooked down a little bit, we're gonna add some plant cream. We're gonna do plant cream and almond milk. So while that's cooking down a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the lobster tails and remove them out of the shell or halfway out of the shell. I'll show y'all how I do that. And these lobster tails I actually got from Publix. Take our kitchen shears and cut directly down the middle. Then break it open. I'm just gonna go ahead and take them out. Be careful, it's really, really sharp. Move that vein, just like a shrimp. 
and then that way you get the whole tail out like that. So we're going to add some salt and pepper in this bowl and a little bit of butter and mash the potatoes up. Now we're gonna take the mixture that we had and just smooth it in. I'm also gonna add just a little bit of vegan Parmesan cheese. We washed our asparagus, now we're gonna go ahead and cut the bottoms off of it and put it in a foiled pan. And spread them out, make sure they're not touching. We want each of them to get roasted. My oven already preheated on 400. We're gonna go ahead and season these with some salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Now you can always melt the butter, but baby, we just gonna go ahead and put a couple of slices on top of the asparagus so it can melt down in the pan. And then pop it in the oven. So I have a little bit of Chardonnay that I wanna use. I'm gonna pour a little bit on there. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Old Bay. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven. When they come out the oven, we're gonna rub them down with a little butter. Once your asparagus is ready, go ahead and put some of that Parmesan, vegan Parmesan on it and let it bake a little bit more. So I plated everything up and baby, this is what it looks like. There's the steak, asparagus, lobster tail, and the mash is on the bottom. Oh, this is about to be amazing. I'm so excited. So I have my plate here, y'all. I'm so ready to taste it because I already know it's about to be good. So let's dig in. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, I'm about to eat this plate because it's so good. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all comment down below. Let me know if you're gonna try this recipe. Let me know if you're not gonna try this recipe, if you just think it's good. Listen, I done pulled me a glass of wine and I'm about to enjoy my meal, okay? Like I said, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank y'all so much for watching. I will see you on the next video.